hello and welcome to my channel so I'm going to be sharing how to do one of these um, boxes here um, this is the die set um, it's called special celebration gift box die set and along with it came um, to uh, this camera um, dome card one's called spring garden and the other one's called garden trellis um, but I'm just going to show one way of making the box I haven't done no detail work just a simple um, base colour um, so what we need we need to cut out three of this shape here you're going to score fold the score lines on two of them and on the third one you've got one score line there and another one there so it's this score line here you're going to cut off so I'm going to do that now get the trimmer my glasses on so I can line up properly and just trim that off that piece there is going to be the base for the um, slider bit to go in because we're going to make this style of box so you can make three separate styles that's one so it slides in like a matchbox. I've only done two. And then um, this one is like a wrap around with the little flap on the side. So and then you have a that's the other star card. And then the other one I think is where you can put like um a lock on and you don't have this bit on the side. I'm sure that's how you how you do that one but I haven't actually tried it um, so in the actual die set this piece here and that piece would be your locking mechanism yeah there's an example of it there's two examples of it on the packaging look one there and one there right Let's start putting this together. So I've already um, created the score lines and burnished them. So when you um, turn one up the other way and lay it on, it starts to come into that shape already anyway. Just going to lay it out flat. Put some glue on your uh, glue tab. Bring the other one over. And place that down. Onto there. Don't go over that score line. Things must be eating up from the sunshine. It's lovely if you know, the sun's coming through the window, but outside the wind's quite cold. I think it would be a nice day if it wasn't for the wind. Right. Went shopping this morning, I got froze. Well, I felt as though I got froze, put it that way. I've deliberately not come up too far, too close to that one. 
just to give myself a little bit of um, leeway. So that's the opening part done. So now we're going to come on to that base. So this is my good side. This is my rough edge round here. So I want that on the inside. Because now we're going to bring up these pieces. This is exactly the same as what you would be doing if you'd done it with the cover going over. The only other, that it's the outside piece that is different. And of course this piece is singular. So I'm going to do this one first. The card I'm using is 240 GSM. And I, I haven't put any detail on. I'll let you decide what you, what you want to do. Bring it up to the edge, but you don't want it going over. Get a good press down. Let's find this small one. Just going to put some glue on this one here as well. If I pull it up that way, you'll probably be able to see better. So I'm just going to bring that over to there. Put a finger back behind just to give that a press. I'm just going to bring this one up. the other long one these boxes are quite um deep oh so I've just got glue oil under that now so you can I'll be putting other things in these boxes as well This last piece I like to put the glue on all the sides I think it makes it easier. So you haven't got to keep pulling out your tabs just to Let's 
if you had to think of press down. Now the other thing I've done, I used the matte and layering dies, which um, is this one here, so that gives you the base to go inside, and then um, this one here to give you the long size, and then the short one. So I'm going to put some, and all the time you, you're doing this, you're making your box stronger. And this covers up all your workings inside once you've put um, these pieces on. just to try and go for it just let it fall that's not too bad is it now we're going to put the sides on When Jodie um, demonstrated on the TV, she did um, show um, plain examples on the TV um, how many different options you could make the box in. Um, I can remember her doing like the one with the flap on and one with the lock on, but I can't remember. She may have done this one as well. I can't remember. I know our Victoria's done one as well and I haven't watched the video yet so just gonna go round and keep lining all your all your sides up This is the last one. So what I want to say is, don't put any detail on the inside of the box that's um, going to go into your slider piece, into your drawer. Only put it on the ends because if you start putting it this it's going to make it too thick and it won't slide in so just put it on the ends and it looks and on the sides of the outer base along there so that when it goes in just slides in and then obviously you can decorate the top that would give that more richity as well when you decorate that and decorate the sides and it, it does make it more sturdy when you do that as well anyway I hope that helps and that's how you do your match stock <laughs> match stock match stick or your match box I'll get it out in a minute. <laughs> uh, Starbucks. Um, bye bye for now.